Hello, hello. All right. So we got E-Poodle versus Hacks. Um, Hacks presumably won game one because they're on MD. Oh, I just saw the 1-0 as well. Um, E-Poodle is very, has a very good like game sense. Um, they'll wait for, you know, like predictable options. Very efficient, picks their spots well. And Hacks um, needs no introduction. Uh, just an overall incredibly solid player. Oh, wow, just choking Ethel out by the edge. And, oh, that's rough. You really got to make this count when you're um, the character against Fox, I feel. Because if you're not hitting your punishes, you just get cornered and pushed off the level. And Hax is incredibly good at doing that. Oh, wow. Just walk forward. That walk forward had to have been an accident. I think he caught the jump, too. Wow, and just holds the ledge. Great awareness by Hax to know that uh, e could not get ledge there. Incredible shorten. Okay. How does e Poodle punish? Not quite the percent that... Uh, okay, now weak up air will send it to tumble. e Poodle definitely made up for it, and I think he caught the jump. Ooh, just missed. Great whiff punish on the Nair. Marth Nair, really deceptively hard to whiff punish. But uh, Hack's doing a pretty good job. Nice CC. Uh, also waited a little bit too, I think. Hack shielded and then e Poodle just gave it a little bit of a delay and then let it rip. But it might be too little too late. Uh, this is a pretty big deficit for Marth, but e Poodle's got a chain grab. Drops a little bit though. Yeah, that was a really good Nair by Hacks, especially when you're up this much. Just getting Marth like into the corner alone is just really, really good. Yeah, Hax's uh, suffocating style is uh, it's pretty incredible. It's pretty brutal for the other the other player, especially against like any of the tall human characters that need like room to like start up walls and, and stuff like that, like Marth and Falcon, even like Sheik and Peach to an extent. Hax is brutal against incredible power shields. Yeah, super efficient. Okay. Yeah, really good babysit there by Hacks, but doesn't get the strong hit to knock Marth away. All right, nice air dodge. Oh, uh, misses the fast level edge, but okay. Even even when Hacks messed up, he has like a plan B. Nice fair out of the corner by Ipudo. Ah, uh, but uses his jump. Might have been an accident. Yeah, when you hit Fox in the air and it's you know it doesn't really mean much. It's a little bit disadvantageous. Ooh, I love the idea actually, but um, the short was pretty good. Nice light shield. Let's see. I like to see E Poodle maybe just take more stage. He's kind of playing back, but it's working out right now. Great tech chase. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Clubs by both players, I believe. Oh wow. How did he even get that fair? That was crazy. Hold ledge. Yep. A little bit ambiguous, but E Poodle. E Poodle knows. Nice crouch in the corner. Scary um, double jump off ledge, but um, gets it out. Hack's doing the really hard ambiguous DI, and that's no jump Marth. Wow. I I wonder if that was an improvisation by Hacks to do that drill shine. That was an incredible ledge grab also. Great Nair. Um, I'd imagine at that percent, that's like the best thing to do. Okay, nice SDI. I like that. Not even worrying about like whiff punishing at the end, just up tilting, directly beating the drill. Great spacing. And that's a stock. All right, E Poodle showing signs of life here. Oh, great dash dance grab. It's another thing E Poodle is really good at. Okay. Good chain grab. Probably going to up tilt now. Yep. Hacks, maybe getting like frame trap there. I've I've seen that before where like the fox just doesn't DI. And I think it's like a some kind of like frame trap thing. I don't really know exactly why, but someone in the chat I'm sure will correct me. Unless Hacks just isn't DI. Wow, what an incredible tech chase option. Yeah, E Poodle, I, when there's an option to kill, E Poodle will hit it most of the time. Ooh, I'd imagine that was probably a mistake by Hacks to do the full hop. Overshoots the grab. Um, I like it, but uh, just didn't quite work out there. Okay, how's he gonna babysit here? Wow, just like, I don't even know. I, I guess covers an option, but then just like reacts to the fact that he upbeat early and just holds ledge. Incredible awareness. That's that is a lot harder than it looks. E Poodle with the punish though. Ooh, maybe he wanted to like dash forward a little. I don't know. Okay, strong up air, strong up air. I like the delay, milking out the hit stun as much as possible. Wanted, I think he wanted the um, 
the hilt to push him out, but doesn't get the F smash. Oh, he pulled get a little swingy, but great SDI. Oh, Hacks hitting the tricky uh, wave shot at Marth. Nairn will send him off stage. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, I thought he Poodle was going in for the battle. <laughs> I, thought, I thought he was like, GG's after he won that game. I was like, wait, 3-2. He was just reaching for the water, though. Yoshi Story, I like this uh, pick from Hacks. Definitely, like, especially against Marth, great uh, CC into dash forward there, or drill, rather. F smash for the fans. Oh, wow. Forward though, down tilt is a thing. Lest we forget. Wow. That was a really nutty combo. Uh, gets caught in shield, and then Hacks just putting the hitbox exactly where he wants to jump out. And uh, great edge guard to boot. Do people say to boot anymore? I don't know. Uh, that's what, that was like insane. He like he scrapped with like a Marth Nair, but he like beat it before the the Marth uh, like the second hit came out, the strong hit. Great use of weak hit and incredible awareness to go for that up or that uh, neutral lead by e Poodle. Yep, Randall coming out. Tricky platform movement, but doesn't matter too much. Gets above Marth Nair, and ooh, that's a that's a rough spot by e Poodle. Yeah. The good thing about Marth, at the very least on this stage, uh, is that he, he can get the kills early. It's, like, pretty advantageous for for Fox to, like, suffocate him here, but if something happens, you know. Oh, he was in position for it, too. That actually, that Nair might have been an error, but um, just miss, misses the space a little bit. Throw from ledge. Oh, my gosh, this hurts. Now you're off stage. Uh, I mean, he didn't go for... I don't know if he went for it all set, but... Oh, great SDI. Oh my gosh. Strong up air. I don't know how that upper was strong. Oh my god. That was an incredible short. Oh, I would have maybe reverse fair uh, dared. Oh, he... when did the jump? When did the jump happen? Oh, wow. Really nice edge guard for me, to like, go all the way out there. Oh my god, that was so scary. I actually thought that, uh, that um, Hax was going to make it back. Nice. Yeah, you always got to be ready to shield grab that drill. There on the platform. Yeah, Hax making it really tricky to know like when he's going to like approach. Especially with the lead. Um, it's, it's a very powerful option. He's doing like Nair in place. And, oh, that's it. Damn, dude. Fox Fair is... It's such a... It's such a great extender for, um, like, platform combos. Definitely leads to upside. Well, okay, I heard my name. I think I'm playing on stream now. I don't know for sure. Wait, no, why else would they call my name? Well, I guess they could have been calling a match. Ah, whatever. See you guys later.